winner for the UK New Zealander of the Year, announced in London today. Lady Alexandra, wife of New Zealand's High Commissioner Sir Lockwood Smith, has been awarded the honour. It was a fitting finish for the couple who are about to head home. A Europe correspondent, Emma Keeling, has more. The sounds of home have been known to bring a tear to Sir Lockwood Smith's eye. Tonight, New Zealand's High Commissioner in London celebrated his wife's achievements is Lady Alexandra Smith. Lady Alexandra winning the UK New Zealander of the Year Award for her work with charities in the arts, supporting the many Kiwis in the UK. Lockwood, I'm here because of you. You must be very proud of your wife. I am. She's worked so hard and, and you know, this is a, not good with me, this is a tribute to her. But receiving the award at the Waitangi Day Ball in front of New Zealand's top overseas talent was all a bit much. I'm very, feel very overwhelmed and, and slightly speechless, really. I, I, I mean, what a privilege and what an honour. And what a way to finish. So Lockwood leaves his post after four years at a time of great uncertainty over Brexit. It's not about just reporting back to New Zealand what people think here. It's it's about trying to influence what people think here, and that's why connections networks matter. Along with his wife, it seems Sir Lockwood's made an impact on the tight-knit diplomatic circles in London. Everyone knows them. Now that is just an extraordinary accolade to how much hard work they put into being recognised, what they've done for the country, and generally it's done with charm and grace. The last three and a half years have been the happiest of my life. A final night with close friends and maybe yet another curtain call for Sir Lockwood. You didn't sing tonight? Nice oh, not over yet. Next month they'll switch the glad rags for the gumboots back on the farm in NZ. Emma Keeling, One News, London. <laughs>